Zia, thank you. Hussein Zia takes his first hit of heroin for the day. Without it, he can't eat, sleep or even get out of bed. At just 28, Zia has already been a heroin addict for almost half his life. He and his friends support their habit by selling drugs and pawning things from their own families. When you start using, you don't have anything. Even if you start acquiring things, they don't stay with you. The last thing I lost was my family. In capital Male, it's estimated that one in ten young people are substance abusers. Living on this tiny island, many turn to heroin, or brown sugar as it's known, to alleviate the boredom. In Male, if you order a pizza, it will, come in, it will be coming about 25 minutes or 30 minutes. But if you order drugs, it will come between five minutes. To contain the addiction, authorities hand out severe jail terms for drug crimes. But instead of recovering in prison, there are allegations that heroin is commonly available to inmates. Officials say that was true in the past. Before, there is excess. The, the drug is, is, can be taken into the jail, but it is not now. Rehabilitation centers like this one have failed to wean many addicts off drugs. Unofficial estimates indicate up to 70% of these residents will go back to using once they leave. Journey, an NGO staffed by former addicts, says the community is much to blame. Once you become clean, for we have seen people who are clean, we have, who have been clean for five years, six years or something like that, and still that stigma says, ah, that guy, ah, he used to use drugs, you know, something like that. While existing addicts struggle to stamp out their habit, there is a new fear. Community workers are seeing children as young as nine using heroin, something they want to stop at all costs.